Wild Adventures Television is back in Alaska's pristine Prince William Sound this week, hunting black bears with Nanilchik charters. Last week, we highlighted four great hunts along with the unique benefits of wilderness hunting from a boat. This week, it's all about the hunt and host Brian Smith's quest for a massive Alaskan Bruin. So come on along. We saved the best for last. This week on Wild Adventures. So we departed Whittier, Alaska, which you saw last week. Beautiful scenery. I mean, it's just a beautiful part of the world to start any hunting adventure from. And last week you saw the other guys hunting and you saw their hunts and Mark's hunt. In actuality, I hunted first and Mark was my cameraman and I spent the better part of the hunt. I spent four full days hunting and Mark actually was afraid he wasn't gonna be able to hunt. I had to remind Mark that at the last bear hunt we were on, he got to shoot first, so now it's my turn. <laughs> so we're going to get dropped off and uh, look up some of these salmon streams and see what the bears are doing today. In the Prince William Sound, there's a lot of these little bays and little feeder streams off of these islands and, and these little back bay areas and back cove areas that these bears were inhabiting. Believe it or not, we were using the seals as, a, as an indicator of where a lot of those spawning salmon and spawn out salmon were located. We're in a little salmon stream back in a lagoon. There's lots and lots of sign here. So we're just gonna sit tight here and, and see uh, if any of these bears uh, present themselves to us. But you can, you can kind of smell that fish death here. So, so I'm pretty sure if they're hungry, they know where to go. We had ourselves positioned on one of these, on one of the trails that went around the back bay area, and we quickly realized that a a sow and her cub, and a very large sow at that, and her cub were heading straight for us on the trail that we were sitting on. Let's move, move back. I think we had to move back. We're sitting right in the trail, and I think she's going to want to come right this way with her cub. I'd hate to spook her because this is a great spot to hunt. That area back in there, we, we hunted that really hard. Obviously, just coming off of our hunt up in uh, Saskatchewan, I'd already harvested a record book trophy bear with my bow, so we were holding out for a larger bear. So we hunted that area probably two or three days and then decided to, uh, to switch spots. Stick around. When we come back, host Brian Smith pursues the big black bears of Alaska's Prince William Sound right into their bedroom. This is actually scary to be in here with this because you ain't seeing them coming. You get an aggressive sow, you're done when Wild Adventures returns. <laughs> Wild Adventures host Brian Smith is hunting black bears, spot and stalk style in Alaska's Prince William Sound. After two days of hunting a great looking cove loaded with bear sign, all Brian has encountered are sows, cubs, and a decent boar that just didn't measure up. It just wasn't the bear we were hoping for. Now, Brian has found a new location to hunt. On the skiff ride, we had noticed a feeder stream where there was a lot of bear sign. When the tide was up, the stream was noted just by basically a break in the tree line. And when the tide was out, you could see a long winding stream across the beach that came out into the inlet. Look at that big fish right here. That's what he's coming in here for. It looks like they might be trapped in here too, those fish in this pool. So up the stream we go, and I want to tell you folks, nothing spooked me like this particular hunt did. All at once, I realized that all around us, there were these little breaks, little bedding areas. 
They look like matted down beaver slides that were coming into that stream area from this very thick, dense foliage that was lining the banks of this stream. I don't think I've ever seen an area that looked like this before in my entire life. This is crazy. Well, I think it's been a long time. I mean, a long time in my hunting career since I've actually walked up a stream, have felt the adrenaline rush that I feel right now. We are in their den. This is their feeding place. When we got halfway up that, up that stream, you could smell these bears, and bears have a very distinctive smell. I mean, it just stinks of bear. To be honest with you, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of my comfort zone. <laughs> this is fun. It's a blast when you're doing the spot and stop. But I also think we need to be a little safe about it too cameraman you don't have a gun let's back out of here and just keep an eye back up in here at that point I was scared I have a rifle and I've got a guy with a camera behind me and I know Mark's big and he's a lot taller than I am <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to outrun him in this area right here that we're at those bears could be just 10 or 20 yards away saying oh hey those guys came to eat too huh you would never know it either that or they could be saying look Walking carry out. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it though. I mean, this is an exciting hunt. I mean, really, when you think about a, a black bear hunt in Alaska, this right here is as exciting, I think, as it gets. Being able to spot one from the beach, get out of the beach, and then come back up these little streams, and they're, they're still full of fish. And, uh, and then when you see these little runs that they have that are just totally completely they are hidden right now if, if one was 20 yards from us even 10 yards from us you're not going to see them in that you're not going to see them until they're right on top of you and for the most part in Alaska the black bears they don't know what you are um, they come out and they get their fish they look at you they go back up they're not going to mess with you but I tell you, the thing about it is, is the, the sow with their cubs is what you really have to be sensitive to. So, right now I'm hypersensitive. <laughs> so, needless to say, we backed out of that area and wanted to reorganize, basically get a new game plan together. So on our way back out, we happened to notice that right behind us, while we were up in that stream, turn around, back out, and there's wet bear prints going across the stream, up, up the rocks, and off into the dense foliage. Meaning that that bear had crossed behind us within seconds of us going up that stream. We make it back out to the skiff and we're talking about obviously the excitement of, of this hunt that now has taken place over the course of maybe 45 minutes. We happen to look down the shoreline and about two miles away, what we see is a black dot moving. What you do realize that if you can see a black dot moving from, a, from two miles away, that's a good bear. <laughs> There's more excitement right around the corner. I could tell just by the way he was waddling across that beach 
that we were hunting a true Alaskan Prince William Sound trophy. When Wild Adventures returns. Welcome back. After a stalk up one creek that was a little too tight for safety, Wild Adventures host Brian Smith spotted a bear on the beach some two miles away. Well, you do realize that if you can see a black dot moving from two miles away, that's a good bear. He's closed the distance and confirmed his suspicions. I could tell by the big crease running down the center of his head, and I could tell by the size of his ears, and his ears looked tiny. And I could tell just by the way he was waddling across that beach that we were hunting a true Alaskan Prince William Sound trophy. I had no idea that we were going to be able to get this close to this great big bear. I want to get to that rock. There ain't no way. He's facing right at it. We have to wait a while for that. Okay. Can you see him? Oh, plain as day. We don't dare move right now. Right, he's heading toward the beach. All right, what do you got to do to get ready to shoot? Just get steady on something. Very well. He is close, man. I know it. Right, it's going back to the woods. God, I'm scared to death. I'm all over the place. You may think that these big rocks along the beach are, are just perfect for spot and stock. I gotta tell you, you really have to be careful where you're putting your feet on these rocks because it is loose. There are these razor clams that are attached to the rocks that are very sharp and you've gotta be careful what you're doing. It puts another challenge in your hunt for you. What you're gonna see is Mark behind me trying to position himself to get everything on film just right. He kneels down on a razor clam, cuts through all layers of his hunting clothing. I'm trying to communicate to him when I'm gonna take the shot, and he's trying to communicate to me that he's not quite sure if he's on it or not because he's in this excruciating pain. He's a real good bear. If he isn't, he's gonna be dead anyway. Maybe even wait for him to turn and face the beach. I will. You know what I mean? Yep. Less of a chance of running to the wood. Okay. 
Are you rolling? He went down right there. He went down right there. Whoa. I tell you what, folks, we didn't even have enough time. We came out of that place that was just full, loaded with bears. We came back out onto the, out onto the skiff and came down and that bear that we saw going through had come back out here on the beach. We got in position, got on him. Man, I think he's a good one. I think we need to run up there. Check him out though. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, I'm excited. Licensed as a charter service and not a guide, Nanilchik Charters offers the wilderness hunter mobile and comfortable accommodations, meals, game care services, and quick transportation to and from some of the most game-rich and beautiful hunting areas in Alaska. Nanilchik Charters offers their unique services to black bear hunters between April 27th and June 10th. For more information, log on to nanilchik.com. <laughs> yeah! Oh my goodness gracious! This is an Alaskan black bear right here, folks. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, wow. Holy moly. This is a beautiful, beautiful black bear. Oh my <laughs> Hey, Raghorn Adventures, the Nilchik Charters, the Smith Brother team. There is nothing better. And truly, this is what it's all about. This right here, the Alaskan adventure. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this bear. This right here is what, <laughs> this right here is what Alaska trophy black bear hunting is all about. Right here, look at this. I'm gonna say this is a 350 pound bear, easy, easy, folks. He might even tip the scales at 400. He is a big, big, beautiful bear. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's going to be cause for good celebration tonight. Whew. What a great hunt. Stay tuned. Wild Adventures will return. Well, going to Alaska and targeting the Prince William Sound area for a hunt is just an adventure that every single outdoorsman needs to experience. Whether you're a bear hunter or just a fisherman, to get a taxi service like the Nilchik Charters is absolutely second to none when you're, when you're planning and booking your trip. I wanna tell you, the staff, the, the captain of the, of the boat, um, everything about it was beautiful. Everything about it was an adventure. Everything about it is something that'll go down in your photo albums and stuff that you'll relive and tell for years and generations to come. Make sure you do what Wild Adventures does. Surround yourself on these adventures with friends and family and it makes that time even that much more enjoyable. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week with more excitement outdoors on Wild Adventures.